Hi there, today I'm going to machine the pedestal for the Stuart half beam, which should be a really simple process, but thinking about it, it's raised a couple of questions and concerns, but I'll get onto those later. So as usual with these castings, there's a, a need to tidy up some bits with the bench grinder. and tidying up the rest with this hand file. OK, so I've uh, tidied it up with a bit of filing and I've clamped it to the milling table uh, with a view to machining this top edge here. However, if I put these set squares on here I've got a bigger gap there than I have there, so that tells me that the base isn't straight. So what I'm going to have to do is to take it off again, put it back in the vise and see if I can get that base a lot straighter. OK, so that looks a lot better. So uh, I've just also put a height gauge on here, just to make sure that the uh, top is roughly level with the table, and it is. Um, now. The overall height of this is um, 90 thou over 3 inches and um, it needs to be roughly 3 inches high. I don't, that's not overly critical because this sits on a, a base which will be homemade. Um, so what I'll do anyway is I'll take about 40 thou off here first of all. OK, cutting around about 500 rpm. OK, I've only taken 22 thou off, um, but having levelled that up, I'm going to switch it round and then do the feet, and then probably go back to this and take another 20 thou off. OK, so just checking that it's nice and perpendicular and it looks pretty good to me. So I've got a 10mm cutter in here and it's running around about 920 rpm. And uh, I'll, set, I'll take it around about 40 thou off in total.
Okay, so I've marked out the position of the two holes uh, that need to be threaded to hold one of the main bearings. And I've secured the pedestal in the same way uh, as I did last time. And I've put this gauge on here just to make sure that this side is parallel with the x-axis of the table. It's reading zero at this position. Bows in slightly there and then comes back out to the same zero. So I'm happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll uh, put the chuck in uh, with a centre drill and I'll uh, centre on this position here. Then I'll um, centre drill it. I'll drill to 3.9 millimetres in diameter and then I'll tap to 2BA. Now I do like to triple check everything before I commit so I've just put this wiggler on here and I've centred it on the uh, first position. I've zeroized the DRO, I've locked the x-axis and I'll move the uh, y-axis in one and a half inches and see if it ends up in the position I marked. Now that's interesting, um, it looks like my marking out is, uh, is slightly out. I think it's out by 25 thou. So I'll readjust my measurements and then I'll uh, continue uh, drilling and tapping. Okay so having done some maths I think I need to drill to a depth of uh, 0.32 of an inch before tapping. Well, the good thing is we haven't come out of these, these sides here. <laughs> well, I don't believe it. I've not uh, tapped enough threads here. There's about four millimetres gap there. And I think it needs to be way below uh, three. So what I'm going to have to do is to uh, drill again and uh, tap some more threads. Now I reckon I'm going to have to go down another 78 thou. Um, so in total that would have been uh, I think about 0.4 of an inch. But I'll do all that off camera and then I'll drill and tap this one. Then I'll get back to you. Well that's worked out okay. Very happy with that. Okay, so to mark up the positions for the holes in the feet, uh, what I did was um, I measured the distance between this edge and this edge. I divided it by two and worked out that that was the central point. Having got the central point, I then, on the surface plate, um, worked out that the distance between that and this hole should be half of uh, 2.75 of an inch, whatever that comes out at, and mark that up, and likewise the same value here but positive, and mark that up. Now these holes need to be drilled I think a quarter of an inch in diameter. The distance isn't actually critical because this is just going to sit on the base like that. Um, but having drilled them, I think what I'll do then is I'll just tidy up these surfaces here.
Well, that seemed to go okay. Um, it needs a bit more refinement and finishing off with the uh, wet and dry, um, but all the machining's worked out okay. Now, making this has raised a couple of sort of queries, really. Um, the base plate, um, when it fits to the base, it needs to be raised at a higher level than this. And um, the, the sort of questions I've got relate to what I should put under the base plate and how I might go about making the main bearings. Uh, but I'll go over to the bench and I'll try and explain it more. So the sort of dilemma I've got at the moment is um, the base plate needs to be at a higher level than the main base um, because the pedestal needs to be at a lower level than the base plate. So the, the options were I was thinking of maybe um, making uh, something out of wood to give the base plate extra height um, or alternatively uh, put it on some sort of like legs like that. Now using metal uh, rod like that would give me more options to make adjustments. And the reason why I think I might need to make adjustments is because the two main bearings, one goes there and one goes there, so these surfaces need to be spot on level. Now what I would normally do is I would ream the main bearings um, in situ on the actual piece. So do the final reaming uh, once they've been uh, placed on the appropriate sort of component. Uh, but I can't really do that in this situation. So what I was thinking was, you know, I'm guessing I must have to ream the main bearings um, when they're on the lathe or the milling machine. And then, once I come to assembly, make some fine adjustments of the pedestal to make sure it runs okay. So, um, cause there's, there's a couple of sort of questions and, and viewpoints I'd like to have feedback on there, really, if possible. So if anybody has any thoughts, I would really appreciate it. Uh, because I think the next item I'm going to make, or the items I'm going to make, are actually the main bearings. So I would really appreciate it if anybody's any sort of thoughts or advice on that. Um, anyway, um, in the meantime, I'm really happy with the result and uh, I hope you'll like it too.